So in this video I'm going to show the problem that I have with the uh, Autotain Dream system that uh, Onfair uh, sells um, and it pertains to the aspect ratio of the picture. Uh, these units do not display the aspect ratio of the movies properly such that 16 by 9 movies or any movie uh, for that matter is uh, not displayed properly uh, on the screen and the image is actually stretched such that the images are distorted and there's a, a black and white or sorry two black bars on the top and the bottom of the screen and I'm just gonna throw in the DVD the Lorax in here to uh, show you what the issue is um, I believe that this is an issue with um, all of the Autotain units that uh, are sold by Onfair. I've contacted uh, Brendan or Brandon at uh, Onfair uh, asking to rectify the issue and he's been telling me that uh, uh, the manufacturer is uh, um, trying to solve it but it's been a long time and nothing is happening and now Brandon is telling me that he doesn't even think that there is a, there is an issue um, and uh, although he did uh, um, admit that there was an issue and was uh, convinced that uh, uh, he could uh, perhaps do something with the manufacturer to rectify it uh, now uh, apparently there is no issue so we're at the Lorax and um, you can see that the image is there's a black bar at the top and there's a black bar at the bottom and the image is stretched so if we play this movie now this is a universal film and you can see this black bar at the top a black bar at the bottom and there's the universal logo and I'm just gonna stick it here so you can see this better and the earth is not round it's oval we're just gonna pause that for you oh, that's fine I'm sure that was visible so this is supposed to be a nine inch screen which in uh, which dimensionally what it, I, th I believe it is a nine inch screen if we go from the diagonal here um, yeah, you probably can't see it very well on this video, but uh, it ends up being a 9 inch screen, which is kind of nice if the whole of the 9 inch screen was actually being utilized. But realistically speaking, because of this distortion, our 9 inch screen is now effectively an 8 inch screen. So these units are being advertised as a 9 inch screen, uh, however the only way you can get a 9 inch screen is if you start zooming with the zoom feature which doesn't rectify the stretch um, as the images are still stretched uh, but it starts zooming in and you're actually going to be missing part of the picture uh, when you do uh, attempt to zoom, zoom this movie in. So again there's a black bar here and a black bar there so for comparison's sakes I think what we'll do is we're just gonna show the same movie on my navigation unit that also plays DVDs so let's just stop it eject it and we'll just show how this movie should be displayed so we'll take the same movie and we'll throw it into the DVD player that's actually uh, I believe this is a let's see this is a six inch screen 
six and a half inch screen. It's also 16 by nine format. And we're just gonna throw in the same movie into this screen. Interestingly enough, I believe this unit plays this movie properly. As does any other DVD player. Uh, this problem should be easily fixed with firmware, which is what I asked Brandon for at Onfair. And uh, however, one of the most beloved movies of all time. Let's just go to the menu here. Premiering. Speak for the. Just have to go to the main menu. So, okay, I'm just going to zoom in here a little bit. So this is a six and a half inch screen of my nav unit. And um, as you'll see, huh, we get a full screen. There's no black bar here. There's no black bar there. And if we play the movie and we observe the, uh, this is also a touch screen. Uh, originally, I got an excuse from uh, um, Brandon, uh, I guess relayed from the factory, that they, uh, the aspect ratio is messed up because of the touch screen. Well, this is a touch screen. It's a 16 by 9 format. And guess what? It displays the movie perfectly fine. Full screen, full, full six and a half inch, inches of the screen is being used. And the universal logo Yay! It's an Earth. It's perfectly round, not oval, like on the Autotain unit. So, one more step. I actually connected the output of this DVD player uh, into the input of the Autotain unit. And I'll just show you the same movie being played on this DVD player while it's in there, how it looks on the Autotain unit when it's being, f when the Autotain unit is being fed the movie from this DVD player. Let's go around. So we got the movie playing on my nav unit. And we're gonna go watch it on the Autotain unit now. Guess what? It is perfectly displayed. No black bar here, no black bar there. All the aspect ratio and aspect of the movie is properly displayed. Well, this obviously proves that the Autotain units are capable of displaying the image properly. Let's zoom in on the nav unit. Full screen. Autotain unit. Full screen. The problem is that the DVD player built into this unit is set to the wrong aspect ratio. It actually stretches the image and gives us the black bar at the top and at the bottom. Now hopefully this video will uh, show this issue to any potential uh, customers so they know what they're going to, what they're going to get uh, when they order one of these units. They're very nice units overall. Uh, the headrests match the interior very nice. Um, I don't really have a problem with the way uh, they're, they're manufactured. The uh, quality is really good. The, the picture quality is really good. Um, I do have a problem with these units not displaying the images properly. Um, and claiming to be 9 inch units, which they are. This is a 9 inch screen now when it's being fed through that DVD player. However, when you're using the internal DVD player or the internal MP3 player, or sorry, MP4 player, uh, playing movies directly from the Autotain unit, you don't end up with a nine inch screen. You end up with a stretched picture where everyone is uh, fatter than they should be. Uh, round objects are not round anymore, they're oval. And uh, I believe this 
can be fixed um, if the if uh, Onfair actually um, relayed this information to the manufacturer and asked them to rectify the issue uh, until and until it's rectified uh, that uh, uh, you know they at least inform the their customers that they're working on it and they're attempting to rectify this issue I believe it's a big issue because it is affecting basically every single person that bought one of these units oh, I forgot that this is not being play played through here <laughs> it's playing being played through there so uh, I believe this issue affects every single customer that bought one of these units whether they recognize this issue before or not uh, is another story but um, from watching unfair videos uh, of these units it appears that uh, all of their autotain units display the same problem and uh, oh, it's a widespread problem uh, that uh, affects pretty well all the units that were sold and are being sold I would think that they'd be worth addressing and hopefully hopefully uh, Brandon will address it and uh, get the factory to issue a firmware update that will solve this issue anyway I hope this video was helpful for anyone that's uh, looking to purchase one of these systems and hopefully helpful to Brandon when presenting his case to the factory in the, his efforts to uh, um, get this uh, issue fixed uh, hopefully by a simple firmware update where the output of the in, um, internal DVD player uh, is set to the correct uh, aspect ratio. Anyway, thank you for watching.